Assalamu alaikum. Today we will discuss about the visits to Medina. So in our previous class, uh, the sessions, we discussed about the performance of Umrah and Hajj and uh, we mentioned some of the things or the rights that a pilgrim must fulfill or must observe when performing Umrah or Hajj. We also mentioned uh, performance we mentioned ikhrab whereby we talked about uh, the izar and bidah for the men and also uh, the cloth the mode of uh, the code of dressing according to islamic principles for the women uh, we also talked about the uh, restrictions when one is in the, the state of ikhrab some of the things that one cannot do them a pilgrim cannot do them if they are in the state of Ikhraf. We also talked about Mawakit or Mirkat, whereby these are the stations that one has to put the Ikhraf when reaching and also they make Niyya at uh, the Mawakit. We also talked about Mina, whereby uh, they have to spend uh, a Yawu Tashri there. First of all, uh, we started with the Arafah. When they are back, uh, they have to uh, stand or stand at the place of Arafah. Why, if one or a pilgrim is performing a Hajj and fails to stand at the place of Arafah, then the Hajj is not valid. So it is a very essential right, and a pilgrim must observe it. We also talk about Sa'i, that is the running between the hillock of Safa and Marwa. We also talked about uh, Tawaf, and we say uh, we, uh, when a pilgrim uh, arrives at Hara, he or she must perform Tawaf al Kudu, then later on performs Tawaf al uh, Ifada or Tawaf al Ziyara, that is upon uh, coming on the 10th of Dhul Hijjah after coming back from Mina. Then, Tawaf al-Tatawu, whereby it is like the Tahiyat al-Masjid, whoever they get in to Haram, they perform it. And the Wida, Tawaf al that is after uh, finishing the rites of uh, Hajj and Umrah, then they perform Tawaf al and uh, then they can uh, remove the Ihram. Uh, we also talk about Mina, and uh, whereby uh, after, after sleeping at uh, the Muslims because after coming back from uh, Arafah they say they pray uh, Maghrib and Isha prayer at Mustalifah and they spend a night there in the morning they pray Salatul Fajr then they march to uh, Mina they collect uh, after collecting the pebbles now at uh, Mustalifah they throw the pebbles at the Jamarat in Mina then they go back to Haram and it's when now they perform uh, Tawaf al Ifada and also they pray Salat al Eid because we are saying it is on the 10th, that is Yom al Nah on the 10th, they pray Salat al Eid at Mina. So that's all about uh, the performance. Let's look at the visit to Medina. The visit to Medina, that is our topic today, our subtopic. So, visiting Medina is not an essential obligation in making Hajj valid and complete. So, it is not among the rights. Visiting to Medina is not among the rights or an obligatory or an essential uh, thing in Hajj or to make Hajj valid and complete. But it is recommended that the pilgrim visit Medina sign of respect to the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, because we know that uh, the Holy Prophet migrated to Medina after the, uh, the unbearable conditions in Mecca. So it's like uh, giving a respect, showing, uh, showing a sign of respect to the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him. So when entering Medina, one recites a dua, so you can recite any dua, and one of the duas is, you can say, be a uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma anta salam wa minka salam wa ilayka yujam salam. Fahayyina bis salam wa adkhilna dar salam. 
تباركت ربنا تباركت ربنا وتعاليت يا ذا الجلال والإكرام. so this is one among the duas that you can recite when entering the city of Medina. and it means in English it means in the name of Allah most gracious most merciful. oh Allah you are the peace and from you comes peace and unto you returns peace. Keep us, O oh, our Lord, in a life of peace and make us to enter the abode, uh, the abode of peace. Blessed are you and exalted is your majesty, O oh, you possessor of glory and honor. So that's uh, the dua, that's uh, what it means or the translation of dua in uh, English. So there are great merits for visiting uh, the city of Medina. So there are great advantages of uh, uh, visiting the city of Medina, that is the tomb of the Prophet and his mosque. Uh, the following are the merits. Now, let's look at the merits of visiting the city of Medina. One of the merits is that this is the place where the Prophet lived for the last 10 years of his life. So, after migrating to Mecca, he said that he lived in Medina. So, he lived for 10 years before he died. Then Islam got a peaceful foundation for spreading far and wide as well as being understood well for this sacred place. We know that after uh, the, the 13th year of uh, the prophethood, the prophet migrated to Medina. Then he lived for 10 years. So within the, to uh, the 10 years now, Islam uh, spread more and expanded unlike when they were in Mecca. So, then another merit is that this is the place where the first Muslim martyrs lost their lives and were buried. So, here we are saying that the Muslims who died for Islam, and also they were buried here. We talked about, the, in our previous sessions, we also mentioned about um, the Jannah al which will also talk about it in later on so we uh, these matches were buried in Jannatul Baqi it is the graveyard in Medina then the prophet prayed for the well-being of this city its people and also the property that is in Medina so the, uh, the prophet was saying he prayed for the city of Medina so let's look at the list of the places, uh, the places that one can visit when in Medina. And one of the places is the mosque of the Holy Prophet. So this is the mosque he called after his own name. And it is the mosque which the Prophet himself actively participated in his construction. At, and it is where he led most of the prayers. So prayers offered in this mosque are more tawab. We are talking about when they migrated after Hijra, when they reached, that is uh, in uh, Form 1, that is uh, History of Islam. And the History of Islam, we talked about uh, uh, Hijra. So when he migrated to Medina, he built a mosque. And uh, he used to pray there. So he offered most of the prayers, his prayers, in that mosque. And, uh, when you pray in that mosque, it is believed that one has more tawak. So let's watch the mosque, the current one. It has been renovated. So let's watch the current mosque that is Masjid al Nabawi. Masjid al Nabawi, which is in Medina.
in our next part, we will discuss about uh, the, the other places that one can visit when in Medina.